Who is calling? From which country? He's from uh, from Colombia. Uh, Regrab him. Okay, perfect. Yes, Giorgio speaking. Great. And as the song says, your name is Giovanni Giorgio. And if you allow me, I would like to call you Giorgio. All right? Yes. Yeah, my name is Giovanni Giorgio, but you can call me Giorgio. <laughs> that is great. Giorgio, it's a pleasure to finally be talking to you. How are you? Good, good. Waiting to get in the plane and coming down there. Yeah, we're waiting for you here in Colombia. So, uh, how are you doing? How is everything going in the DJ thing? Everything good. I just came back from, uh, from uh, Canada. And before that, I was in London. So, busy, busy. Why, why do you decide to DJ? This, this DJ thing has uh, been going for uh, two years now, right? Yeah, about two years, yeah. Uh, it was a little bit of coincidence. I, I got uh, a friend of mine offered me a job uh, at DJ, very small, uh, with Louis Vuitton in Paris. Yes. And then I got an offer to do the uh, Elton John in uh, Cannes. And uh, then I did the, the, my first one in America in uh, New York. And so that was a success and I got offers. And so that's how I, how I started. All right. Uh, you've been an inspiration for a lot of people. And uh, actually, it is great to be talking to you because as a great fan of disco, funk and electronic music in general, uh, you created the sound of the future. And now that sound is the sound of the present. And uh, you've been doing music since late 60s till now. You, you have a new album called Deja Vu. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that album. How do you decide to choose the, the people for the collaborations in this album? Mostly women. Yeah, well, I love women. <laughs> yeah, of, and, of course. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it, it was a... It was a, a collaboration with the record company with the management company and uh, so I was I would propose something they would propose some work some did not so it, it's basically uh, it's not that I I said okay I want uh, this and I want that it's it's a matter of talking and then see who who's available who wants to do it all over the years uh, you've been producing since the disco era with uh, uh, Donna Summer and a lot of artists, a lot of pop anthems in history. But uh, something that caught my attention is that a lot of pieces that you produced were used in movies. Was that uh, on purpose or it was like an accident? No, no, that was, that was a, a very interesting thing. Uh, I, you know, I had uh, I had a hit with Donna Summer called "I Feel Love," and uh, the 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 director of uh, the movie Midnight Express liked the song, and so he wanted something something in that style. So I, he asked me, and I said yes, absolutely. And uh, that was that was how I got into the music into the film business. Yeah, which is. Uh, kind of unusual because usually the film uh, uh, musicians, composers, they all come from classical um, trained uh, background while I come from pop and uh, at that time uh, people who come from pop they were not lucky in the, in the film business. Actually you said in an interview that one of your favorite pieces of music was from a movie. It was uh, "Take My Breath Away" from Berlin. Right, right. That, that was a, that was a nice movie. You know, I liked uh, the movie in itself. Uh, I liked uh, Kelly Gillis and and uh, and Tom Cruise. Uh, uh, I, I wrote two songs. One was uh, uh, "Danger Zone," and then I wrote uh, "Take My Breath Away." And, uh, and it, it's a. I think it's a. It's a nice song. It's. It remind, reminds me a little bit of Italy, you know, the, 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 big, the melodies of, uh, of Italy. How do you feel music nowadays? You were a visionary in those days, in the 70s, and now everything that's 
around in the world in the mainstream sound uh, like the things that you did like 30 something years ago well uh, you know what i i uh, if there are composers and artists who are uh, inspired by my music i'm happy uh it's it's great to hear some songs which where where i say oh great this one sounds a little bit like i feel love or flash dance but that's that's nice i mean i it's great that somebody uh, gets inspired by me i know you from years ago listening to your music to your productions but uh there's a lot of people uh young people that came to know you because of a record called Random Access Memories with Daft Punk. Right. How, how did that come uh, alive? Uh, very simple. The, the, uh, the Daft Punk uh, called me and asked if I could have dinner with them. They wanted to talk about uh, some collaborations. And uh, so I met them and uh, they didn't tell me anything. And then suddenly one day they called me in, in uh, Paris to go in the studio and uh, to just to tell the story of my life. And that's what I did for three hours. And then they built the song around what I was saying. All right. And then uh, and you participated in the production of the, of the song also? Very little, very little, because they, they knew exactly what to do. And uh, they didn't really tell me what they wanted to do with that song, with that uh, with the lyrics and, and the, the spoken word. How's it going to be, the show here in uh, Bogota? Uh, good, good, good. I have about, uh, I think about 30 songs, or oh, some older older songs of mine, some hits. Uh, I have uh, some new songs from the, the new album. I have uh, some songs with uh, uh, some friends of mine, Avicii, uh, uh, David Guetta, and then I have some of the songs I recorded in the last uh, in the last uh, two three years. Hey, Giorgio, it's nice talking to you. We're waiting for you here in Colombia, and uh, we know it's going to be a great show. Have a safe trip, and in, in, we'll see you here on Saturday. Okay, adios hasta el sábado. <laughs> Your Spanish is too good. Uh, my wife is from Mexico. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, see you.